I mean, the first the first couple of times I was teaching like in more Jewish workshop situations, um, like in North America or also in London. Actually, it was interesting to um, to see like. Jewish people come up to me and say, can you teach me how, how to sound more Jewish? <laughs> That's like an interesting thing. I was like, oh, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> but of course, I mean, there is a technique and it just says, you know, because there's also a level where you just learn a vocabulary, you know, you learn a language, you just learn the grammar, you know, and I certainly can't communicate that, you know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and put it together, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, I mean, the, the, the twist is, no, that, that level is easy, of course, you know, but it's, um, it's sometimes tricky because um, it's not about the, the personal experience, you know. I don't want to communicate, well, communicate, yeah, on stage, on a different level. I communicate my personal experience, you know, but I don't want to um, mess with people's lives, you know, and so like, well, that's how you feel more Jewish. If you feel, play the tune this way, you know, I would certainly not do that, it's, you know, I go to the level and say, well, this makes more musical sense if you play it like this, you know, and you might think, say, you know, what you hear in old recordings, this line is so beautiful because they do this and this, and point that out, 